Sorry, chum, but it seems you're such a dimwit that you're only good for me. so jumpy. Now you need to load the trolley into the train. To do this, press the lever inside the car. Paul, you entered here who knows how long ago. You're not answering calls. I'm worried. Hello? The night zookeeper, Paul Connolly. Why so grim? Problems? Ugh. What the hell is going on here? Fuck. I almost threw a live girl into the grinder. Where did she come from? Fantastic. There's a computer, but no data. Floppy disk? Where'd you get that? I found it in one of the lockers. Well, of course. Here's the password. Damn. You're not a hacker by any chance, are you? Not even close. I can guess the password only if I know who came up with it. Damn. Then we're at a dead end. What is this? Time to deal with another mutant. Fuck. Let's still call the cops. At least they'll get us out of here. I'll think about it.
do you need an axe? If you could see yourself, you wouldn't ask. And also, you smell like vomit. Wanna freshen up? I guess I should. Hey, Sarah, what the hell? Sorry, Paul, you can mutate at any moment now, and I want to live. Stay here for a while. Bitch, I saved you! Paul, Paul, it's morning. Where are you, my friend? It's time to check how you handled your probation. Hmm. This is strange. <laughs> Paul, my friend, where are you? Come here, it's time to see how you fared during your probation. Hey, Paul, how are you feeling? Oh, by the way, I've had the pleasure of meeting your wife. Can you believe she reported to the police that her beloved husband disappeared in the zoo? Good thing I have friends everywhere. Now she will have to go into the grinder, too. Well, lie down here for now. I'll prepare everything. Uh-oh, looks like Mommy is particularly hungry today. Goodbye, Paul. Tell Mother to the team. Hey, Paul. Are you here? <sighs> Paul, I brought breakfast. The meat you gave me was incredibly delicious. <clears throat> Gina had three servings. <clears throat> and I promised to take the rest to her beloved daddy. Oh, someone arrived. Hello. Do you work here? Hey, what are you doing? Let me go! Good morning, Paul. How was your night? It's time to feed the mother. Wake up, Paul. Mother likes her food to flutter and squeak. Don't worry about your wife. I think she'll make a great dessert. Really, Paul, you didn't think that after everything you've seen, I'd let you go? Uh-oh, looks like Mommy is particularly hungry today. Goodbye, Paul. Tell Mother, bon appetit. Damn, you look awful. Fuck you. Why didn't you mention that you slept with CJ? Is he your source? How do you know? Answer! Well, kind of. I slept with him. He promised information about the parasites. Instead, I got a bag over my head and a syringe with a tranquilizer. What if I tell you I found a floppy disk in his locker? Would it be easier for you to guess the password? Oh, shit. Why didn't you say that earlier? Paul, we need to hurry. You're about to be paralyzed and then you'll mutate. But we can still save you. I'm gonna send the poison formula to your PDA right now. Paul, please, there's no time for that. Night, zookeeper. Paul Connolly. Idiot. Moron. Asshole. What the hell did you tell that bitch? CJ's wife. I warned you that you have to do everything they tell you. Do you know what I'm going to do with you now? Fuck you. You've already done everything. I have a parasite inside me that turns me into a mutant. So that's how it is. You probably noticed that the animals didn't touch you. It's because of the parasite. Only thanks to it, they see you as one of their own. In short, Paul, you've messed up a lot. But it can still be fixed. Finally send that bitch Watkins to the grinder and wait for me at the entrance. Only then will you get the antidote and maybe keep your job. Who is that? Metzger? What did he say? I have to feed my family.
Good morning, Paul. How was your night? It's time to feed the mother. Oh, Paul, you're doing great. The other subjects have been paralyzed for an hour by this point. You probably noticed that the creatures haven't bothered you. It's all thanks to the parasite. Now we just need to decide whether to remove it from you or not. I'm sorry, Paul. Mother is against it. Seems she's very hungry. She only eats what she kills herself. Goodbye, Paul. Tell Mother, bon appétit. I'm sure there must be another way. Let's go to the mother's enclosure. Paul, you're about to be paralyzed. I think I won't be able to inject the poison myself. You need to do it. No, I'll do better. I'll shed light on this shit. Just wait for the doc. This is doc. Master, inject me with the poison, Sarah. Hey, Paul, what a pleasant surprise. Usually your colleagues pass out in the most unexpected places, but you got paralyzed right next to Mother. Saves me the trouble of dragging you. Yes, Paul, you're right. This is the end. It's just amazing how all of you pathetic losers fall for the promise of success and money. But let's admit it, the only thing you're good for is food. Mother, my girl, it's lunchtime. What the hell? This is for CJ! get back to my wife and daughter. I just have to wait for the doc and cut off his hand. Idiot! You won't be able to! You're about to be paralyzed! Then I need to hurry. Paul, my friend, where are you? Come here, it's time to see how you fared during your probation. Hey, Paul, how are you feeling? Wake up, Paul. Mother likes her food to wiggle and squeak. Don't worry about Miss Watkins. She was hiding in the lab, but I found her and served her to Mother as a hot appetizer. Hear that? Mother likes it. Goodbye, Paul. Tell Mother about bon appetit. <laughs> my friend, where are you? Come here, it's time to see how you've fared during your probation. Oh, Paul, you're doing great. The other subjects have been paralyzed for an hour by this point. You probably noticed that the creatures haven't bothered you. It's all thanks to the parasite. Now we just need to decide whether to remove it from you or not. I'm sorry, Paul. Mother is against it. Seems she's very hungry. She only eats what she kills herself. Goodbye, Paul. Tell Mother. Bon appetit. <laughs> <laughs> 